Hi, this is Richard Byrne at freetechforteachers.com. In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can find free Google eBooks and clip a portion of them to share with your students. Let's go ahead and get started here. Let's say I'm looking for a book on, so the War of 1812. I'm going to do our search. Now, I want to find a, a book that is completely free to view, read, and use online. And I might even say I want to make sure it's a book and not a magazine. And I want it from the 19th century. So now I have this book here, The War of 1812. And let's say I want my students to read just a portion of it. I don't want to give them the whole book because you know, it'll take a while for them to flip through the whole thing. I just want them to read a little section of it. So let's scroll down and find a section of the book that we want them to read. So we'll scroll down here and we'll start right there. Now let's go ahead and take this little clipping tool. And so what this clipping tool will do is will allow me to highlight a portion of the screen and select it There we are, and select that portion. So now I've clipped, selected that portion, and you can see here I can now share this link. I can also embed this into a classroom blog. So I'm going to have them read just that portion, so I'm going to select embed. Now let's go over to my blogger account. And we'll put this into my classroom blog. So there's Mr. Byrne Teaches. And we'll say, please read this passage. And down here I might say, please read the passage. Then use the comments to ask questions. And so we'll put that in here as HTML. And publish. I don't need to share that on Google Books, on Google Plus. I'm just going to view it here. And now we can see that portion is embedded. Now, if it doesn't embed quite the way I want it to, I'll go back in and I'll clip out a little bit less of it. Or I'll go back in here and look at the HTML of it and make sure that I don't have that as too large. So in this case, I'll just go back in and I'll clip a smaller portion of it so it doesn't overflow the page. So that's how you can clip a portion of a book from Google Books and share it in your blog. And for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com.